Now, everyone, Jason Haynes here, McGrath Riverina, with another edition of the Haynes Report, your weekly look at rural property and what's been happening around the Riverina. Uh, this week, right here at Yanko Weir, right on the banks of the Murrumbidgee, and uh, I think it's a sign of what's happening at the moment. We're trying to push a bit more water down that Murrumbidgee system at the moment. Um, there is demand in that Collingwood and late MIA area for some early irrigation water as those environments start to dry out a little bit. So I know that Collingwood at the moment is scrambling just to open those water supplies a little bit early for their supplies in order to get some water on, on cereal and canola crops um, that are starting to run out of water. So yeah, water's going to be a big issue this year. We're still trading around that $140 a megalitre here in this, uh, sorry, 120 to 140 in the Murrumbidgee system. Um, but yeah, water's gonna be absolutely key to our production system this year. Um, we've been out and about the districts. We've been down to Hilston this week. Crops are looking very good out there still, but like everywhere, just starting to look for that next rain event. So hopefully it's not too far off and we can get that confidence building rain uh, over the next few weeks that'll so really just keep things ticking along all right demand this week we've got a number of players out there looking for property this week we're looking for a holding in that northern collie ambly area at the moment that's got both collie ambly water access and preferable some additional bore water so we've got a very active and highly qualified buyer in that market at the moment looking for that that ideal property in that space uh, we've got a number of people looking for lease country at the moment. As said in last week's report, it's an opportunity out there to perhaps not take some of that production risk um, as a business model, but we have got croppers and graziers uh, looking for all sizes of properties at the moment as, uh, as we look at expanding their enterprise. So, yeah, if you're looking to rejig the way you're doing things, please give either Craig or myself a call because there could be opportunities there to just marry things up and secure your position or really suit your needs in the years to come. So, so good opportunities there for leasing country. Um, our properties at the moment, um, look, we've still got that Jenkins block there. We've got that listed for sale at $2,000 uh, an acre. A good body of feed on that, good water, um, good permanent water there. We've got a number of inspections lined up for next week, but we haven't done a deal on that, so it's not too late to jump in on that 640 acre block. Um, and the other one there, Springview, expressions of interest closing at the end of the month so again another ripping good property there good red loam country running up into the hill um a 630 acre block and uh, yeah an absolutely beautiful location out there at colin ruby next this week i'd like to talk banking um a number of our clients are being frustrated at the moment on how long banks are taking to process these uh, process loan applications what I would say is be prepared if we've got an expression of interest rate that you want to be involved in, or in fact, you're assessing your situation for where you want to go in the future, have those early conversations with your bank and get your applications in early. We're take, seeing a long time going through that, that approvals process, particularly valuations. They're being swamped at the moment. So get prepared early if you're looking to make moves later in the year really know your position because yeah you just never know when as a family or as a business unit you're wanting to act now what's happening in this ag space at the moment as well i had a talk to a couple of corporates there that top end of town is still active in this ag space they're not shying away those top end investors that want to invest multiple millions of dollars are still very active and see good value in agriculture our family operators albeit probably a little bit more reserved they're still buying farms and buying good farms for good money because they buy intergenerationally so there's still very good demand in this marketplace at the moment we are seeing transactions taking a little bit longer to happen um, and, and people being a bit more considered in their response but there's still very good fundamental demand in this ag space in uh, at present and we do expect that to continue uh, especially as we see another adjustment in interest rates and we see how this season does fold out but as you said ags a very long play so that demand long term will remain now, as always, if you'd like any more information we've spoken about here today, please feel free to give me a call at any time on 0488 594 450. And uh, we'll catch up with you next week. This is Jason Haynes from McGrath, your partners in success in the Riverina. Cheers.